Have you ever had a website or a software idea but kept putting it off because you didn't know how to bring it to life? This invoice generator website, this gaming website, this resume builder website, and this service booking website were built with AI in just hours. In fact, in less than 30 minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn that your idea into a real business in just few hours. So without coding or technical experience, you can do this. I'll show you how to use Hostinga Horizons to bring your idea to life and it is super simple. Anyone can do it. Just enter your idea and boom, Hostinga creates the website in minutes with hosting, domain and professional email included. I'll cover how to use Hostinga Horizons to generate your web app, how to connect it to a database to store information securely, how to connect it to Stripe so you can collect payment from users and make money, and then publishing your web app so that users from anywhere around the world can access it. My name is Charles. Let's get started. The first thing is to go to Hostinga Horizons and sign up. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video. I click the link and it's going to take you to this page right here. Now, this website allows you to instantly launch any website or web app by just entering your idea. So whether you want to build a restaurant booking web app, a budget tracker, wedding website, or even a CRM web app, you can do that in hours with Hostinga Horizons. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, you're missing out. So subscribe. I have a lot of helpful videos in this channel. Like, share, and drop a comment. Now to get started, we scroll down and select a plan. And Hostinga Horizons has several plans that you can choose from, starting from the Explorer plan, which is the cheapest at $6.99 per month to starter, hobbies, and then the Hustler plan, which is $79.99 per month. Now, the Explorer plan allows you to create just one website. The Starter plan allows you to create 25 websites, uh, sell subscriptions, physical and digital products, and use all the AI capabilities. While the Hobbies has everything, including the code editor, which gives you access to the source code so you can have full control and flexibility to your project. I'm going to go with the Hustler plan. So I click on Select Plan, then select the period. Then click on coupon to add discount code, add a discount code and then complete the sign up. Now, the next thing is to start creating. Let's say I own a massage or consultation business and I want a booking system that allows customers to book a massage or consultation in person session. What I'll do is to upload a screenshot here or upload a sketch of what I want the website to look like. And then Hostinga Horizons will just replicate that design, which is interesting. Or I just simply enter my idea here. I'll say, create a clean professional service booking website with only two pages, booking and about us. Now, if you want more pages or specific functions, you can list them here so that Hostinga Horizons would understand, would have a better understanding of what you want. And down here, I went further to write the website purpose. This site should allow visitors to easily book a call or consultation with the service provider and make payment online. So this website will make my business money because customers make payment via this booking website. Now, what we're going to do is click this button to generate and boom, it is building the web app. You can see it writing the codes. It is working on it. If you look at the left panel, you'll be able to see what the AI is thinking or working on. You also notice a chat box down there where you can chat with the AI and tell it what you want to do. For example, you might want to make a change to the website or add a page or a functionality or even connect APIs to the web app. I'll cover this shortly in this video. Now, we have our web app ready. <laughs> Just like that. How many minutes did it take us to do this? Not to five minutes. All right. You can see how the website looks. The name of the website is Booking Pro. Now, you can see the navbar at the top, um, the booking button, the home button, and also the footer right here. Everything is set up. Now, if you click on About Us, you see the About Us page. It's created for my business. You can also see the Call to Action button here. This website looks beautiful. Over here, it says Schedule a Call. So I'm going to click here and we are back to the booking page. Wow, this is beautiful. Now, customers can just easily navigate to my website, book a call, and <laughs> I make that money. Now, these are the sessions it created for us. 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and one hour. 
Now, can we edit these sections? These different things we have said here. In fact, yes, we can. Just at the top bar above the nav bar, click edit content. Now, select any part of the website you want to edit. For example, I'm going to click on book a call text area, this area. Now, on this pop-up, I can change the text. So, I'm going to delete this other part and boom, just like that, we've changed the title of the page. I'm also going to edit this text below the title. So, click on it. Then make changes and click save. I can add more things to the website. I can say, add a booking form and calendar to the home or booking page and then enter. You can see how it is working on the changes and boom, it has updated the web app. So if I click on any of these sessions, you'll see the calendar along with the form. Now to expand this web app preview, just click at the double incline area at the top right of the web app interface. Now, this is how it looks like on full screen mode. Customers will be able to book a call by selecting the date and the time and then filling out this form here. Now, there's something missing here. How can I or how can my staffs create sessions and set the price? That functionality has not been added to the website yet. So I'm going to minimize this preview and on the chart, I'll say add page for admin to enter service type and person to book add a button for admin to add a new form to show and then enter it has created a plan and boom we have the admin page wow now we can click on admin you can see the services created in the admin already in here <laughs> so it automatically added those services i can decide to delete a service or add a new service you can see that the service has been added let's check the booking page um hmm. i think there's a problem here the admin should be able to log in before adding a service to resolve this we'll need to create a login page we'll say add login page for admin and boom we have login page added <laughs> now we can click on admin you can see the login page this is good it gave us an admin login details to use you can see it just below the signing button I can use these details to log in. Now let's go back to the booking page. Here's the one hour 30 minute session added by the admin. Looks good. Now this next part is very important. Your web app is not complete without it, which is adding user authentication and database integration. The great thing about using Hostinga is that you can easily integrate Superbase which handles that part of the web app. There are also other integrations that you can connect to Hostinga like Stripe, PayPal, and Google AdSense to monetize your web app. It also supports e-commerce integration for selling digital or physical products. I'll show you how to integrate Stripe so you can receive payments, but before that, let's integrate Superbase so we'll have all the backend features like the user signups, data storage, and other backend stuff. So we're gonna click on integrations, click on Superbase, and then we click connect. Next, we sign into Superbase. If you don't have an account, just create an account, click sign up. Once we have signed up, we sign in, then follow the prompt to create an organization in Superbase. Let's scroll down, click create an organization, enter the organization details, and then click create organization. Then click on authorize hosting our horizons. Next, we click a new project, then select the organization we just created, which in this case is the booking system. Then we enter the project name, database password, select the region, then click create new project and boom you have your super base account ready right you have it ready to connect your web app now if you go back to our web app in the super base panel you see that our super base project which is the service booking system is now showing here but the connect button is not active so we we'll wait for a few minutes and then refresh the page we have refreshed the page again we click integrations and then select super base then click on connect then click connect again to finally connect Superbase to our web app and boom, we are all set. Now, now the Superbase is connected to our web app, we can create the sign up page. So we are going to create the sign up page for the admin. So in that chart, I'm going to say add the sign up page for the admin and boom, it has added the sign up page. Now this would allow staff or admins to sign up so they can have login details. Let's try it. We click sign up enter details and sign up and boom 
we can now log in with the account we have created this is good so let's create a service we'll add the details and then click add service now we are going to go back to the booking page we are going to find that service that we just created okay there's a slight issue here the service is not listed here but i'm going to resolve it okay i'm going to say show all service created by the admins for users to book on the booking or home page and boom it has updated the booking page you can see the interface has changed a bit but that's fine for me now it's showing the service recently created by the new admin i'm just going to click on it and i'm going to add more services and yep i added three more services you can see how this looks a customer can just select a service enter details and make a booking now to monetize and make payment we are going to do this next part we want to collect payment from users or customers at the point that they get to book our service we can integrate paypal or stripe to help us collect payment now to integrate stripe just follow the instructions that is written on this page um, this is a step-by-step -step instruction here on how to integrate stripe so what you're going to do is to log into stripe or if you want to use paypal log into paypal and at the bottom left when you're logged into stripe click on developers and then click api keys and here you'll be able to create an api key so just create an api key copy the key and then take it back to hostinger horizons and then in the chart you're going to enter this prompt you're going to say add stripe to payment and then paste the api keys here then the ai would automatically connect the stripe to your web app and that's how easy it is you're not trying to do any <laughs> sort of coding thing you just send it in the chat anything you want to do you drop it in the chat and then the ai will take it up from there now we've added stripe anytime customers on our website when they want to book a service at the point of booking they are going to make a payment and it's going to take them to stripe so once they click pay it will take them to the stripe interface for them to complete the payment all right let's look at this in full screen now this is beautiful the admin page looks good the signing page the sign up page about us page and then the booking page everything looks good it looks professional now another thing you should be aware of is hostinger pages are mobile responsive which means the projects you create automatically adapt to different screen sizes so you don't need to start doing it trying to uh, create it again for different sizes it does that automatically now if you click on edit content at the top you can change the content of the page change the text here change the text here and there you know to fit whatever you want this looks good another interesting thing you can do is to edit and change the source code of the web app to do that click on code at the top and it's going to take you to the source code if you know how to code you can just make changes to the web app by using the source code that is available here you can see the code for the index page you can see the code for the footer the calendar the booking form and other pages all these are codes that you can essentially modify or refractor this gives you full control over the web app that you're building the final thing to do is to publish click the publish button at the top right of the screen and boom our web app is live for everyone to use as you can see here we have a domain hosting that published it to a free domain so if you click on view site it will take us to our booking pro web app our site is live and ready to make money for me now if you don't like the domain you currently have because it's not custom if you don't like it you can get a new custom domain by clicking on get domain now here you just enter the domain name for example i entered booking pro and then select the domain extension to use i'm going to select bookingpro.in for the website domain then click next to finish the setup is that easy is that easy to launch your idea and start making money from it hosting horizons make it easy for you to start your idea launch it all in just few hours i'm going to leave the link to hosting horizon in the description of this video click that link sign up and start creating if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe there are helpful videos in this channel like share and leave a comment watch this video next i'll see you there